Hello, my name is Rick Bauer, and I am a senior technical consultant for the Proficient Sitecore practice. Welcome to episode two of the Site Cordial video channel, designed to help marketers visualize the power of a Sitecore experience marketing. This series is designed to be progressive training, building off of best practices in order on the Sitecore experience platform version eight. If you have not seen the earlier episode on taxonomy, episode one, I recommend you start there. This episode is focused on defining engagement value and setting goals. With taxonomy in place, it is time to move to crawl phase two, configuring goals. This is done in the marketing control panel. In the tree on the left under taxonomies, open up the goals detail by clicking on the arrow. In the case of this demo, you will see several have already been created. For now, I will simply add another goal. Notice when I click on the goals parent, you see the option to create a folder, a new goal, or a goal category. The folders and categories are simply tools to help you keep organized and are recommended as a best practice and good habit for you and your team, as over time, without this organization, you will find yourself with an unruly list. Like taxonomy, I also recommend a tab on a tracking spreadsheet to keep this information available outside of Sitecore. Let's start by creating some organization by creating a goal category and naming it page goals. Once that folder is created, let's create a couple more folders inside the category. How about landing pages and confirmation pages? Certainly we could organize further with more subfolders, but for now we will leave it at this. I could create a goal for any of my landing pages created specifically for email campaigns but let's create a confirmation page goal. This is a goal that will be dropped on the page that typically loads after someone fills out a form and thanks them for their action. In this case, we will make a goal for signing up for a credit card. With the goal now created, we need to complete some details to add functionality and definition. Starting at the top, you will see the name of the goal and this silhouette icon, which has to do with predictive personalization. More on that in a later episode. Under the Quick Info area, you will see a system-generated information that can come in handy when trying to track down a specific item. Under Classification, we will start to put the taxonomy items that you have created to work. These fields can be defined by your development partner, but using the defaults, we can set the marketing asset type and up to three goal facets. Again, this can come in handy for driving rules and reporting. Under Data, you will see a place to edit the name of the goal but it will be already filled in with the name you used when initially creating this goal. Points is the engagement value, which I will cover in depth in a moment. For now, I will simply apply a 75 point value. Category as a best practice can be informational, transactional, or process. Process is the combination of both informational and transactional. And finally, a brief description of the goal for your reference. Under rules, you can add a single rule or set of rules that in turn would be utilized in an engagement plan to trigger other actions. More on that in future episodes as well. Under options, simply leave this as default with is goal checked for nearly every instance. Finally, under experience profile, you have options of how this goal will appear in your specific user's profile. Not only as where it appears on the report, but also an image that would represent this particular goal can be added for easy visual cues for you and your team. Once completed, make sure to save and deploy not only the goal, but the parent folder and category to make sure the goal is available across Sitecore Customer Experience Platform. With your goal created, it is time to apply it. For this, we will navigate to the content editor. Of course, you can do this in the experience editor as well, but personally, I feel like I can move quicker with the availability of the content tree on the left side of the content editor. In this case, I will open the rewards group and click on the CC thank you page. With the page selected, I'll click on the analyze tab, click goals, select the goal or multiple goals that I want to trigger and click OK. Of course, I'll click on the publish tab, save and publish the page. The goal will now be tracked, and since this thank you page is only available after someone successfully submits a credit card form, the goal will only fire after someone is applied. 
It is important to note that this goal does not indicate that the customer has been approved for the card. That is possible, but would require some custom development to very likely connect to another system and drive a different rule based on status. Clicks on certain items on pages can also drive goals, but again, that requires a little bit of code to communicate the click event. One way to capture a click without development is through the use of web forms for marketers. To show you this, I will navigate to the Sitecore desktop through the launch pad. Notice that once you're on the desktop, you can access all the same items from the start menu in the lower left corner. Windows users may find the desktop to be the most familiar experience, while others might prefer the launch pad. It's worth taking a look at these web forms. Under All Applications, I'll navigate to Web Forms for Marketers and choose Create a New Form. This powerful application allows marketers the ability to quickly create forms based on predetermined templates for quicker reactivity to the marketplace. As an example, an opportunity to deliver a white paper becomes available, and you need to post it quickly to be competitive. In the case of this white paper, you want it to be form protected, and you have a specific piece of data you want from your customer. Now, without having to have a form developed, you and your marketing team can quickly define the fields and the questions around them and deploy this form as a component on a landing page. Immediately after naming the form, you see the ability to select or even create a new goal with a new engagement value becomes available. Once the form is created, you can add the fields you want. The key here is the submit button. You can define a lot around this button, but since this is a video about goals, we'll stick to that. Scroll down on the left and click register a goal and select the specific goal to register. Between form button and page based goals, you and your marketing team now have the ability to track activity, which in turn can be reported out, drive personalization, and further define the importance of content on your site. Most importantly, that ranking is driven by an engagement value system that was defined by you and best fits your business. So let's talk about that. As you've just seen, building a goal is relatively easy from a systematic standpoint. But before you even define your first goal, you need to consider engagement value. This is an exercise that is typically owned by marketing, but includes the business team to be able to determine and assign points to user activity based on value to the business as a whole. This can be part of a KPI exercise, but goes beyond that considering marketing objectives across channels, your brand story, and more. For this exercise, I suggest you work closely with your Sitecore marketing consultant, but a best practice is a scale of 1 to 100, and you can use values of 0 and even negative numbers, should someone unsubscribe as an example. With goals in place, not only can you personalize, but you can start to see if what you thought was valuable on your site is the same thing your customers find valuable and relate it to KPIs like membership, sales, signups, downloads, etc. From there, you can start to take key content and A-B test for improvement or tie these goals to specific offline and online campaigns. Join me in my next video, where we will start to work on Crawl Phase 3 campaigns where you will start to pull taxonomy and goals together with both online and offline campaign tracking. Thank you for your time, and I hope this helps you move forward in your experience marketing journey. Please reach out or share any ideas or questions. As always, I'd love to hear from you.